Hey everybody, my name's Katerix and this is Niche, a genetic survival game. So this game is currently in early access as you can see right here. It says that it's version 2.4, but it's actually version 0.3. So this is part of kind of like that Steam beta where it's just in testing. It's not a part of the official patch of the game yet. It probably will be soon, probably within a couple of weeks. Um, if you don't have this patch and you want to download it, I'll leave a link in the description to show you where you can do that. Okay, so as you may have seen already, this island is super tiny compared to the last starter island. Um, it's got to be at least half the size, maybe even smaller, so you really can't stay here for very long. It, you can't support any semblance of population on this tiny itty bitty little map. So we have our little jump pads here as you can see the things that make let us travel to other islands. You have this nice welcoming one. This one is very much like the difficulty of the starter island but it's huge. It's really really big so we're probably gonna go there rather quickly. Then we have this little pad here, which, um, as you see, it only has five uh, spots in order to bring five creatures with you, so, so it's a little small, but uh, this is like your savanna. I think people are calling it oasis, so you have lots of grasslands, you have plenty of water too, actually, so uh, this will be neat. I really hope we can go here. And then we have this guy. This is what this update is all about, guys. This is the jungle biome. So the jungle biome is um, rather difficult, actually. We have some new predators, which uh, they have a defense skill. So I mean, your creatures have to have like six strength in order to even hit them. But apparently hitting them is a really bad idea. You're much better off uh, taking advantage of the new skills that are available, which is like stealth and being odorless and uh, I think there's another one too. Camouflage. Also having camouflage. What's this? Distasteful scent. Plus one stinky tail. Ah. So, as you may also see here, Eve is looking really, really different. So, normally, Eve would have, like, a big nose. She'd have two runner's legs. Um... I mean, she obviously does not. She has a cracker jaw, she has one digging paw, and one claw. So this is rather interesting that they've given Eve the ability to basically be completely randomly generated. Whereas before, she, Adam and Eve were always kind of the same. So Adam is still the... Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> so Adam is still the same. As you can see, he has his one no paw, he usually comes with fangs, he has a big body, uh, and he has hemophilia. So, uh, I mean, he's he's looking like good old Adam over here, but Eve is rather interesting. And actually, if you see her tail, which uh, maybe if we go in here into the family tree, you get a better look at it. So it's called Stinky Tail. Oh look, and she also has spiky body. I didn't notice that until we came in here. But um, she has stinky tail, which I love. It looks like a like a squirrel's tail, I guess. Um, it's really cute. But uh, yeah, I mean, what it does, it says, there it is. It says, doesn't smell very tasty. So that's kind of like one of these new skills that says, hey, predators, don't eat me. So that'll be really fun. Also, you have here, this shows her camouflage plus two hiding in cover i guess that's because she's in the grass so you can't really see her that well she has one odor disguise from her spiky body so like these things are all new they're gonna be useful if we ever make it to the jungle biome i would like to do that in the save file but since this is not officially part of the game i'm really not sure if we're gonna be able to do it um like the save might be broken by the time it goes into the new game. I'm hoping not, but you never know. So, I guess I'm going to move Eve into this nest, and I'm going to have her breed with Adam. So, 
what we're going to do here in the mutation menu is I really want to make sure we get normal eyes in. I do not want short-sighted eyes. That is a pain and a half to have to deal with. So another thing that I'd like to do, uh, let's see what legs we have available. Um, you know, Adam has run his leg. I think maybe I'll throw run his leg in. I kind of want to put in velvet paw. I kind of like the way I kind of like the way that it looks, and really want to see how well this stealth does. Plus three stealth. That sounds like a lot of stealth. So <laughs> let's give it a shot. I'm gonna have Adam collect from this berry bush, and then he'll just peek in this grass. So we can start widening out the territory a little bit. Okay, so let's see what little baby we have. We have a cute little Cracker Jaw baby. I love Cracker Jaws, by the way. I think they're so adorable. I know some people don't really like the look of a Cracker Jaw, but I absolutely love it. Uh, this fat, cute little face. I love it. Uh, so Mila, she has a claw. She has a runner's leg. She has normal eyesight. She has um, normal blood clotting. She does have short-sightedness and hemophilia in her recessives, so hopefully she won't be passing that along. Ooh, she does have uh, poison fangs in her recessive, so that, maybe we can pull that out somewhere. I'm really hoping we can. I feel like um, that one's really hard to pull out. Uh, like, maybe, it's not very dominant, I suppose you can say. Um, but, you know, we'll try. Actually, I guess I should have maybe tried to breed Eve again, considering we have two nests. I was too busy talking and not thinking, I guess. So, uh, I'm just gonna keep Adam here, so you can just keep picking, picking, picking. Um, Eve, let's have her dig, because, you know, even if it's one food, one food's better than no food at this point. So, uh, oh, Mila grew up, like, really fast. Usually, well, I don't know, <laughs> whatever. We'll just have her peek through some grass, and then we have Sesimi? Sesimi? Yeah, I guess to see me. She does have one no paw. That's unfortunate. Blind eyes in her recessive. <sighs> Hemophilia in her recessive. She does have normal blood clotting, so that's good. Actually, in the mutation menu, I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, the blood clotting genes are gone. So I'm very much assuming that this is some kind of mistake when they patched... Uh, patch this version of the game I assume that those are going to come back so right now we have um, no I guess no way of really not getting hemophilia I guess I, I can't think of the word right now but uh, we're going to have to be extra super careful while breeding to make sure we don't breed creatures with hemophilia because we have no way of making sure through the mutation menu that we can that we don't get it basically so I'm gonna move Eve over uh, why did I do that I'm gonna <laughs> move her closer to this nest why do I keep making mistakes I don't know but uh, we're gonna have Adam breed with her pick some more berries and skip the day okay so moving Eve into the other nest now uh, she can't pick from this berry bush. Digger's Paw, I feel like Digger's Paw should allow you to collect from berry bushes, but maybe I'm just asking too much. Maybe, uh, maybe it's better if they don't? I don't know. Anyways, little Sasimi found another berry bush, which is excellent, so I'm gonna move her sister over here, and she's gonna start picking from it, because she can. She has the Velvet Paw? Oh no, she has Runner's Leg, so she has Runner's Leg. So she can, oh, there you go. Adam found another berry bush. Excellent. More berry bushes are always welcome. And let's see our next baby. Oh, we have lots of Cracker Jaws, which, like I already said, I love Cracker Jaws, so that's cool. We have little Kier Kier, so that's our first boy. He has no paw, unfortunately. He does have normal blood clotting, and that's excellent. He has normal eyes, and... I kind of wish we could get this stinky tail to come out more. Maybe I should switch it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not right now. But, um, like, I really like the stinky tail. I, it really does remind me of, like, squirrels. Wait, and it's just super cute. Like, just look at it. Just look at it. It's so cute. Okay. Uh, Simi cannot collect from the berry bush, but she can 
clear the grass. Her sister may do the honors of collecting the berries. Alright. Next baby. Next baby. Oh, it's orange. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I like it. Because I, I always like this like really vibrant orange. Um, I haven't had a baby myself, but like toxic body. Where is it? Where is it? Is this toxic body? Yeah, apparently the toxic body gives you like neon colors which is kind of funny I think I'd like to see that um, it says distasteful appearance which I guess would be good against the new predators I'm not actually sure I guess we'd have to see but you know maybe in the future we can start getting some toxic bodies in just so we can see what they look like and have neon colored babies I mean <laughs> I don't know I don't think that they get any bonus in camouflage I guess uh, does, who has camouflage Mila has some camouflage why does she have camouflage because she's hiding in cover okay there you go it's that simple I guess uh, there must be a gene though right that allows you to camouflage yourself maybe maybe not thought like maybe there was oh dots increase camouflage in jungle biomes that's all right Warning dots makes animals look poisonous. Ooh, oh, I like that. That could be cool. All right, I'm gonna get Adam to just keep collecting berries. One of the very few creatures that can. Unfortunately, our little Kira Kira also can't collect any berries right now. Um, Taduk Duk does have one collecting, so that's a uh, that's a victory. That's a victory in my book. Uh, we only have only half of our tribe can collect from berry bushes which honestly is always seems to be the main source of food but you know what maybe just maybe if we look in this overlay here ah, there you go we can start hunting bunnies and little moles so that should be good that'll be a little bit of uh it'll be the duty of guys like kir kir and to see me so she can start slapping up some creatures and we can gobble them up That'll be delicious. Oh, and we also have another berry bush right here. So let's make sure to get that in the next turn, probably. Okay, so we'll move little Kir Kir and we'll uncover that berry bush. Excellent. Uh, so let's move little to Duk Duk. Um, I am going to breed with Adam and I'll also take him this spot. I don't want to put Eve in the nest right now only because we really don't have a lot of food. So we have six creatures, 10 food. Uh, I don't know, we might have to take it easy for a couple of turns before we can collect more food to have more babies. Um, so I maybe I should keep things like this up to make sure I don't like run into any of these creatures like these bunnies. And I know with these moles, you actually have to sneak up behind them. So if he had another turn, it would have been excellent because he snuck right up behind them and grabbed them. But uh, unfortunately, we'll have to give it a shot next turn. So, uh, let's do that. So, what's the smell? Move him over. And we'll slap him. There we go. So, next turn we can pick up the meat. That'll be excellent. Uh, okay. So, we'll keep going here. Does she have Dinging Paw? No, she doesn't. So, you see these little tiny sticks in the, in the smelling overlay? That's for things like Eve. When you have Dinging Paw, you go up there and you can dig it up for one piece of food but you know what one piece of food is better than zero pieces of food so we're just gonna make it adam's job to keep collecting as well as his little daughter mila actually i'm wondering do we have nimble fingers now no we don't have nim nimble fingers yet we need to pick one more berry and then we can put nimble fingers in the uh in the mutation menu and try to bring that out because I have a feeling we're gonna be a little short on food if we don't get going on it. So let's listen again. We only have this one bunny over here, so we're gonna move. We're gonna move to Duke Duke in this direction. He can start uncovering grasses, and we can see what our new baby is. Oh, I'm a little, little eager, a little eager to see the new baby. So we have a spotty little boy named the Rovanro. He does have. Uh, 
Uh, he has one runner's leg, one thinking paw. He is short-sighted, so that's a little unfortunate. And he has blind eyes in his recessive. We, like, you have to be very careful of those blind eyes. It's a little scary for me. Having blind creatures is a no-no. I don't want anything to do with blind creatures. So, um, let's have our little berry collectors keep collecting, keep collecting. And then, um, uh, we'll have... Our little son's adventure, adventure and un and unlock new areas. Um, so we'll collect food. Wait, you know what? I'm gonna knock that right down. Get a couple extra food. I don't think like anybody's gonna be over there by the time it grows back. So we might as well grab some extra food from it now. So we're gonna get little Sesame to go with her little brother and start adventuring this way because i did see a bunny over there so there's probably a burrow somewhere in this area or more berry bushes let's see uh well we don't smell any but might be there they might be over there i did see some moles so we'll be sure to check that out and try to sneak up on those guys okay so little baby out of the nest we will gather more nesting material. I, you always need more and more nesting material, that's for sure. Um, so we'll just, we're just gonna keep going through the grass. Oh, there's the bunny burrow. I knew there was gonna be one over here. Who's this guy? Oh, what a handsome young lad. I guess he's an old lad, actually. He has one no paw, runner's leg. He has my stinky tail. I love that stinky tail. He does have hemophilia. Um. You know, he's not the greatest in terms of mating, but he does bring with him a new gene, so I might go for it anyway. I mean, he's he's no worse than Adam, right? Right? I guess he has the blind eye, but honestly, when you're really looking at them, he's he's not worse. So, who could I who could I breed him with? Um, well, not not Mila. How about Eve? Eve? No, no. He has he has the A. So we need somebody that doesn't have A. Ah! Uh, all my ladies have A. That's unfortunate. I might um. I might go for it anyway. And the reason being, so let's bring him into the tribe. The reason being is I'm I'm just willing to take the chance, basically. Uh, let's do little Mila, because I really like her. She is, she has the paws that I like. Uh, since, since everybody else, well, everybody being Sesame, has a no paw. Uh, Eve is alright, but I like that Mila has the runner's leg, only because she can collect berries. So, uh... Actually, speaking of which, let's get these nimble fingers in here, and I'm going to put them in there, and then I'm going to switch Velvet Paw out for the normal eyesight. Because I still want to get these blind eyes and short-sightedness out of our pack as soon as possible. Okay, so we have little Tavon Duke. He has a no paw. Unfortunately, he has hemophilia as well. He does have normal eyesight, so that's great. He has a stinky tail in his recessive. I'd really like it to be in the dominant, not the recessive, but what can you do, right? So I'm going to move Mila over here, and we're going to go for it again. Try and get, uh, get some good babies out of this uh i think i think i also want to breed adam and eve again yeah i definitely want to do that so let's try to move her over and breed and we'll get everybody to collect their berries of course we'll get this grass out of here a uh, little ravon roll maybe he could start moving over here and start collecting some berries this mole is back but he's facing me, so maybe we could try. Maybe, maybe? Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, Kier Kier, my little mole hunter. I like that. Uh, maybe let's listen. Oh, we got some bunnies over here. I'm going to try to get to them uh, next turn for sure. Um, you know what? Anyways, I feel like uh, 
like we're doing pretty good so far I think um, for today I think I'm gonna leave it at that so uh, bye guys see you next time